Hello everyone, welcome to your morning coffee. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. So this is a general energy reading for Thursday, December 13th, 2018. <laughs> 2018. Um, so this is a general energy reading. This is not love sign or anything specific. This is just what uh, Spirit wants to talk about today. Um, this does not have to be something that happened today. This could be something that happened in the past. It could be something that comes on down the line. Energies are fluid. So um, just go with the flow. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as this is a general reading. Yes? Okay, so let's just get to it. hot. <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, December 13th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, I'm seeing blue. Um, communication, throat chakra, activation, healing, cleansing. I'm also seeing purple, um, and I believe that purple came up yesterday. So this could be a continuation um, of some of like the flow of energies from yesterday, just now in a deeper level. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to shuffle a few times, and we'll see what we get for today. Thursday, December 13th. Alright, All right, guys. Here we go. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ooh, ooh. Thursday. <laughs> December 13th. What have we got so far? King of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, well, so we've got depictions of the Divine Masculine here as the King of Wands. Um, it doesn't have to be, though. Uh, it could be a fire sign, namely Leo. Uh, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could just be an individual that's very sure of himself. Could be very conceited, very full of himself. Um, I feel like this individual could have been this in the past, but now things are changing. You know, he could have been really like, like a player, um, that sort of energy. Things could be changing right now. What I'm getting between the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Swords is there's some sort of inspiration, some new direction that someone is going in, but <laughs> it's almost as if like, they feel like, well, they're just feeling the challenge of changing, potentially changing their perspective, the way people have seen them in the past with the uh, Ace of Wands and the Eight of Swords. It's almost as if they can't be this new person that they've grown into in a certain sense. For some. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh, okay. Three of Wands. All right. Three of Pentacles. Temperance. <laughs> and Justice. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have the King of Swords. All right, so. Okay, so I'm getting a few things. Now this could either be um, a divine masculine that's external to you, or this could be your masculine energies when it within, talk if, you know, divine masculine, being, um, yeah, this, I mean, if you're a twin flame, then okay, that's what it could be, but this is not just for twin flames, this is, like, for everybody here. 
Um, but this also could be just your masculine energy within. I feel like someone is really, you know, there's energy of taking, you know, taking control, going after what it is you really want with the King of Wands here. And I feel like this either could be, like, like I said, your external divine masculine, or I, for the most part, I feel like this is um, your inner masculine energies. Um, this is someone, you know, who's really taken control of their life, you know, knows what they want and go, goes after it, okay? But continuing with the first narrative, um, you know, there's a, there's been a change in someone, okay? With the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Swords. And I really feel like there's, it's a change for the better. However, there's a, a, a negative self-image or a negative image, for negative perceived image from the past that you're going to need to work through in order to really change how people see you now. And that's a challenge here. And that's, I think that's being understood with the Eight of Swords. However, with the Three of Wands, someone has been really doing some hard work. And I feel like um, now they're waiting for, obviously, they're waiting, waiting for the return of, of the investment. It could even be <laughs> waiting on the return of an individual this is an especially since with the king of wands it could be someone who's pretty very really quite sure of themselves quite full of themselves um and so this could be <laughs> what i'm getting now is this could be a situation in which like the divine masculine is waiting for the divine feminine to return um in, in some cases um, and then on the bottom deck here, we or bottom row, excuse me, we have the Three of Pentacles, Temperance, and Justice. So this to me is speaking to the work somebody has done to make some sort of change in their lives. Okay, and the Three of Pentacles um, talks about entrepreneurship, teamwork. It also talks about self mastery, in my opinion. And with Temperance and Justice here. I feel like there's a big balancing act that has happened that's probably still in the process of continuing to happen. Um, it's just there's a new level that has been reached so far. Now, the other thing that's going with this is for the narrative of um, someone who is you know, working with their masculine energies to go after what it is they want, you have a depiction of going into business for yourself with the Three of Pentacles. Um, but I, I feel like, to, yes, so for any of you that are like trying to start a business or you're you're working on your own craft, your home business or whatnot, um, things are going pretty well. It's just, if it, I feel like it's probably slow right now. And that's why you might be caught in this Eight of Swords energy. Well, although, do your best to not get too wrapped up in the Eight of Swords because it's illusionary, okay? It's, you, it basically, it, yes, it's an illusion, okay? You don't have to be in this worst case scenario uh, energy, especially since um, Temperance is here asking for you to have patience with the situation because justice is going to be served. You're, it's going to do well. You just have to allow yourself to get through the lull, the lag, the slow season, if that applies. I mean, it's kind of the slow season all around, unless you work in retail right now, because, um, you know, it's the holiday season, so people are spending money. <laughs> and so with the King of Swords here, which is underneath the deck, that's, again, that's needing to be as objective as possible. So that's, you, you have the energy to cut yourself out of any sort of, like, mental entrapment and whatnot with the King of Swords. It's like the King of Wands and the King of Swords are working in tandem to move forward, okay? To keep the passion, but stay logical and balanced at the same time, even detached. That would be detached from a specific outcome, detached from a specific uh, timeline. You have, you know, you have the energies of passion behind you and commitment for some of you behind you. So, Focus on that, focus on the end goal. Or, no, I'm sorry, focus on the journey, not the end goal, okay? Focus on what it is you can do in the now, in the here and now, to you know, continue to keep the ball rolling instead of focusing on worst case scenarios here. Feeling trapped, okay? 
but all in all, this is a good energy. Yeah, this is a really good energy. All right, so let's get into some clarifiers now. Yeah. Okay. So I want to clarify the King of Wands first. So we're going to start at the top and I'll work our way down. One more shuffle. Here we go. King of Wands, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Boy. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have the Six of Wands. All right. We've got the King of Cups, the, five, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Cups. So I feel like, yes, I definitely feel like someone has gone through um, a major awakening, maybe a major shift. And here, this is talking about emotional maturity to me. With the King of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Cups, someone was able to do some, to accomplish some real self-discovery. The Page of Wands is definitely about inspiration, um, embarking on a new path, embarking on a new journey. And to me, it's also about self-discovery, okay? So through some sort of heartbreak, some loss, some guilt, shame, whatever, represented by the Five of Cups, uh, someone was able to really learn about themselves and grow up a little bit, you know, ma mature when it comes to the emotions, when it comes to being responsible of, you know, with love, especially, okay? Um, and that's definitely inspiring someone to move in a new direction. But like I said, it's going to take some time for that image of this individual to change. Like, they're going to have to do some work to... Yep. They're going to have to do some work to really get that to change, you know? They're going to have to basically prove it. And like I said, starting on a brand new cycle, a brand new journey here. You have the fool, okay, but you also have the hanged man. And um, with the knight of wands and the page of pentacles. So <laughs> it's like a hurry up and wait energy, It kind of. Um, <clears throat> so two pages. So someone really is starting over or start starting something new, okay? This could be, definitely could be in business, some sort of passion project. Um, also, it just could be like basically hitting the reset button with the Page of Pentacles in the physical world, you know. Um, the Page of Pentacles talks about commitment, honesty, truthfulness, which is honesty, <laughs> but um, dependability, responsibility, that those kinds of things. So, but see, the Knight of Wands is here saying that someone is really, really super expired, okay, inspired. We've gone from the page to the Knight of Wands, but the Hanged Man energy is saying that there's still a little bit of limbo. Which would give to the message of someone needing to work to have their image shift. Uh, there could be a little bit of stuck energy or limbo energy because someone needs to gain some, some more enlightenment from this new space that they're in. But here we have the Six of Wands underneath the deck. So there is victory coming through. Now, that's for the scenario in which someone, you know, has changed their ways. For others of you, there is a serious business aspect to, to um, deal with here. The King of Cups... Uh, representing Scorpio, that could mean still a major change. I really feel like someone could really be going into business for themselves. But again, there's some sort of a limbo right now. There's some sort of hold up. Like, because it's probably the slow season. 
a slow season of sorts. So you just kind of have to write it out. Um, but you could have started this, you could have um, embarked on this new path and this new journey in this new venture, like on a new job or whatever, new passion project. Um, you could have been inspired by the hurt and the heartbreak from the past, which was represented by the Five of Cups here, okay? And you kind of like pulled yourself up out of it. You got you collected yourself, and now you're really moving forward in a brand new direction. You collected yourself emotionally, and you're using that to you're allowing that to drive you forward in a new direction, which is, which is excellent. So now let's get into the eight of, uh, the ace of wands. Excuse me, the eight of swords and the three of wands here. Waiting on a return on the investment. Waiting for your ships to come in. Underneath the deck is the Empress. So there's definitely abundance around, even though you may be feeling stuck, stagnant a little bit. Nine of Cups, excellent. Okay, so wish fulfillment. You do have the Seven of Cups, however. We've got the Page of Swords, the Sun, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Now, there, I did say that there could be a situation in which the Divine Masculine could be waiting for the Divine Feminine to come to come back and you do have the depiction of the divine feminine here and in the empress i just don't i mean I, I, I honestly, I really feel like that's wishful thinking here with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups. It's just, bec it's because of this energy, the Four of Cups and the Three of Swords. You know, if, if you're waiting for the Divine Feminine to come back without you having to say anything about it, you having, you know, without you making a first move or initial move to, to, to make it seem that things would be any different, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, <laughs> I don't. Um, you have the Page of Swords and the Sun here. So someone's definitely watching. And gaining information, gaining enlightenment, seeing, starting to see things clearly. I'm get, what I'm getting with the Page of Swords and the Sun is I, I really feel like someone could be watching someone else move on um but or that that could be it or um you know you're they're gaining some enlightenment about where this person is in their life which is a good thing which feels kind of comforting for whoever's watching um yeah Okay, I mean, that's... Boredom with the Four of Cups, missed opportunity. Three of Swords is heartbreak. Again, this is also, uh, uh, at the same time, if, um, you're, like, if you're starting a new business or whatever, this is all what's driving you here, the Four of Cups, the Three of Swords. The Page of Swords, you're kind of just watching, waiting, learning gaining some new information now you and okay so if you're starting if you're like working for yourself if you're going in a new direction creatively or business wise again you're using the hurt and the pain from the past to drive you but also um with the seven of cups and the nine of cups um, especially with the empress all energies also you are kind of trying to redefine how uh how you want to go about things well, ultimately what you want to do and this is a good time to do that because like I said this is like a lull this is almost like a a, a a slow season so you have some time to really understand do some research with the page of swords to gain some information on how to move forward in the best way with this new project you're starting or embarking on so finally then 
Let's get into the Three of Pentacles, Temperance, and Justice. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Underneath the deck is the Two of Cups. So I definitely feel like someone is connecting with someone and wants to return to their life somehow. They've been connecting and they've connected in the past. Someone wants to return here. You have the Star, the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Um, now, this is all clarifying the Three of Pentacles, Temperance, and Justice, okay? So there is a, definitely a level of self-mastery that has come into play here. Someone has learned something new. Someone has changed their ways slightly. And... They're being patient, justice is being served, and what is with the, with the clarifiers here, the Nine of Swords is like the anxiety, the worst case scenarios again. You know, we've gone from the Eight of Swords to the, the now the Nine of Swords. The Eight of Swords was underneath the deck. Yeah, it was underneath the deck for the first, was it? No, maybe it wasn't. I don't remember now. <laughs> but we have the Nine of Swords anyway. Um, and now this anxiety, this this fear, this anxiety is coming through because of the fact that, you know, there's a need for patience, temperance. There's alchemy going on here. Things are working behind the scenes. And it's only going to put the kibosh on it by thinking of worst case scenarios here. You have the Queen of Swords and the, the, the Star which is saying things are happening. You have to have hope and faith. Um, you have to remain objective. And it's interesting because we have the king and the queen of swords here, but the queen of swords here is the, is the energy of knowing, recognizing exactly what it is that does not serve her and cutting that out immediately. No ifs, ands, or buts. The King of Swords is the energy that's objective and diplomatic and will at least hear you out. He's most likely made his decision already, but he'll at least hear you out, let you plead your case, and then give you the final verdict. The Queen of Swords doesn't waste her time with that. Not that it's a waste of time, but she just doesn't, she's not interested in discussing it. She knows what is not going to serve her and she cuts it out, period. And so in this case, that is the energy that you would need to cut out this Nine of Swords stuff here. Because it's illusionary, okay? You know, you have, your wishes are coming true. You have the Nine of Cups and you have the Star. Wishes are in the process of being fulfilled, okay? You just have to be patient with it, especially with justice. Now, we could be talking divorce. The Queen of Swords is the divorcee. Justice could be some sort of court case or whatnot. If you're in that kind of situation, you're only sabotaging yourself by believing you can't move on or you're incapable of moving on somehow. Like if you're getting caught up in the worst case scenarios of doing things on your own, that sort of thing. All in all, this is good though. <laughs> this is a short message today. Okay. All right, cool. So let's get into uh, Oracle Guidance now.
Dragonfly. Yeah, that's pretty perfect, actually. Um, Dragonfly is about, you know, changing your perspective, uh, being able to, you know, a, a mental agility here. Yeah. Here we go. Dragonfly. Master of light, illusion, and the mind. The dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder in all. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind, as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still, dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. When in balance, dragonfly sees clearly, is joyful, and magical. When out of balance, dragonfly can't concentrate and has a busy mind. To bring it into balance, one must focus on the breath. And this actually is really perfect because regardless of where what this is resonate, how this is resonating for you, whether you're someone that has kind of loved, kind of like changed their approach, kind of changed their ways, and is working now to change their image, you have to stay focused and balanced. Balanced. If you are embarking on a new journey, again, you have to stay focused and balanced, and make sure that you keep your mind in check because it's your mind that and your thoughts that are going to help shape the future as you move through it or you move towards it okay so you really have to be willing to change your perspective like at the drop of a hat in order to benefit the situation and the direction it's moving in okay oracle guidance closing out the reading from crystal mandala mm -hmm. Okay, closing message. Wow, today is really short. <laughs> All right. Closing message, please, Spirit, for today, Thursday, December 13th, 2018, 2018, December, oh, goodness, try it again, December 13th, 2018, closing message, please, Spirit, there we go, hmm. card number 26, Sacred Master Kuthumi and Mosque Agate, Sacred Ecosystem. Okay, Sacred Ecosystem. We bring you the blessing of the Sacred Ecosystem. This is a gift of conscious connection, supportive relationship, and magnetism, which attracts to you the souls in need of your light. Where you once may have felt as though you were not in the right place, this blessing shall now rectify that. You are meant to belong and contribute freely to your true soul community. You are destined to feel as though you have found your way home and can attract and be attracted to those that can support you and benefit from your support too. As you let go of past rejection of the belief you have to accomplish your divine life mission on your own or fight to have your place in the world, you will allow the power of the sacred ecosystem to transform your life. Your life purpose shall flourish and your experience of conscious connection with the world around you will heal your heart and soothe your soul. So definitely, there's been a big transformation that's happened. And um, I feel like many of you have changed your lives, changed your situations, 
uh, for the better or you're in the process of doing so, you know, removing toxic toxicities in, from your lives, whether that be foods, substances, um, people, relationships, environments. And there's an energy of kind of feeling a little lost, mainly because you're in this brand new stage. I mean, the fool did come out here, and it's, it, I mean, this is exactly what we're talking about. The fool and the hanged man did come out. So there's like a, there's a new beginning that's happening. Someone is taking a leap of faith. I really feel like the leap of faith has already been taken for the most part. For some of you, you could still be in the process of deciding whether to do that. So that could be the hanged man energy. But then for those of you that have already taken the leap of faith, it's like, okay, well, I took this leap. Now what? I feel like I'm in limbo. Well, that's you That's you, and just getting acclimated with the new energies, getting your feet footing so that you can continue forward. So you're definitely going in the right direction either way, okay? You just, there's just this time of limbo-ish energy so that you can just settle into this new space. Okie dokie. So there it is, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope this was helpful, and I hope everybody has a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Bye.